UFC Heavyweight Division Collision. So you know what this fighter can do offensively, but defensively, I'll be surprised if he gets put on his back tonight. The takedown defense really jumps off the film. Great balance, a solid base, as quick a sprawl as anybody in this division. And a lot of fighters offensively waste a lot of energy trying to bring this fighter down. May want to try to beat him on the feet because if you're going to employ the takedown, more often than not, this guy will sprawl and stuff your shot. This guy has outstanding takedown defense. His sprawl, his timing, and his ability to get up are amongst the best in the world. So Joe, as this fighter makes his way to the octagon, we have to start with the kicking technique. It's excellent, doesn't telegraph anything, gets his foot to the target as quickly as any fighter on this UFC roster. More often than not, guys don't even see it coming. He attacks that lead leg beautifully. Opponent certainly is wary of those lightning fast kicks coming in here tonight. This guy has some of the best takedown defense we've ever seen inside the octagon. His timing and his utilization of underhooks and sprawl are Take for this, our main event of the evening. So more than 15 years, the gap in age between these two fighters, some differences in height and reach as well. We send it inside the octagon. Here's Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. And when the action begins, our referee in charge, Dan Mergliata. And now, this is the moment you've all been waiting for. Live from the sold out arena in Rio de Janeiro, Brazil. <laughs> This man is a Muay Thai kickboxer and jiu-jitsu fighter, making his professional debut here tonight. He stands six feet three inches tall, weighing in at 243 pounds, fighting out of Kanagawa, Japan, the king! And now introducing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a jiu-jitsu fighter, making his professional debut here tonight. He stands 5 feet 10 inches tall, weighing in at 206 pounds, fighting out of Osaka, Japan, Big Daddy. All right, you can lose the locker room. Once you've been with your hands at all times, protect yourself at all times. On a nice, clean, safe fight. Touch gloves, go back to your corners, come out fighting. The fighters touch gloves. Are you ready? You ready? Let's go, well, guys, this fight. is a venue that has hosted so many big UFC fights over the last several years, and we are underway at Juness Arena, right here in Rio de Janeiro, Brazil. Oh, Cracks him there with the right hand. He hurt him! Switching stances here. Body kick, look at that. Oh! Oh! Powerful right hand. Very nice sweep. Well, just because you're on your back doesn't mean you can't throw off with that, Joe. 
He's doing a great job of moving and transitioning here on the ground. Just over three minutes to go. Remaining active here in his pursuit of the submission. Another attempt here. Now it's deeper. This could be it. It's getting tighter. got the choke for the tap. So yeah, it came down to tap out or go to sleep, and his opponent chose the former. The choke was clearly sunk in deep, perfect technique, and ultimately that is one of the bigger wins of his career. He gets it done by submission here tonight. And here's the end of the fight. Let's look at it from a different angle. Reverse triangle, perfectly executed for the submission victory. And let's watch it here one more time. Deep submission and the tap. So there he is, your winner by submission, and that's exactly how you put the rest of this division on notice. Looks like this guy could be a factor moving forward in this division. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Dan Mergliata has called a stop to this contest at two minutes, 20 seconds of the very first round. Declaring the winner by tap out, the King! Well, at this point, all that is left is the celebration, and it's nice to see this fighter sharing a moment with his coaches and training partners after the big submission win here tonight. He had no shortage of naysayers coming in. A lot of people said he couldn't come in here and submit a foe of this quality. Well. That should mute the masses a little bit. That should set him up for a big fight moving forward. Tonight, though, as I mentioned, all about the celebration, and it is on in the corner.